start the day. Yeah. Monaco coffee just isn't as good as Swedish coffee, right? No, I can't drink it at home anymore. I'm a coffee snob now. The so we go to Starbucks. <laughs> the Oatly and the Swedish water, I guess. Mm. I brought the Swedish coffee, but it doesn't taste the same. It isn't the same. But we are here in Monaco, and when we arrived, I saw that there is... We're back in moped country. But I saw that there is about one million insane yachts currently in Monaco. So we're going to go have a little beach walk, well, uh, a port walk, and see what's currently residing down there. And it's always nice. You know I love my boats. Join us. Let's see what Monaco has to offer yacht-wise at this current day. So we reached the end of the pier here, the Monaco Yacht Club there. So this is like the start here, and then we're gonna walk our, you know, walk our way through the port this way. And look at what's here. This is the entrance of Monaco Port, and here you have the office of Espanino, which is pretty much designing every major super yacht in the world. Not a bad office, huh? No. Well, I just want to try to see the beach. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to check out La Rota later. Mm -hmm. The big construction. But yeah, it is warm out, like it's incredibly warm. warm. Yes. And I think we've been spoiled with not having a mask in Sweden. That's been really nice. Because now with the heat and two baby strollers and a mask. Whew. All right, let's go look at what Monaco has now. It's going to be hard to choose which ones to like actually look at. But I'm going to pick the ones that stand out a bit. And maybe what Leon and Yanni think stand out. Any boats here, Yanni, that you think stand out? This is like just the row of, you know, standard 50 meter yachts that continues forever. And they're all nice, but nothing extremely extraordinary. No. But you see something else that stands out. Yeah, the car. The G. But it feels smaller, and this one has these. I believe those are just on the G63, maybe? Okay. Don't assume it doesn't look smaller. Or is it because it's parked on the side? I don't know. You keep thinking all the Gs in Monaco look smaller. Yeah, they do. It is nice, though. No, but I have to compare. <laughs> no, it is the same. Like, it's wrong, no? Not tiny, but like compared to the one I had. We had. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it is the same. Body-wise, it's the same. So now we're going to continue with the boat. Do you see anything, Leon? See anything that stands out? Or just the leaves? And I mean, of course, black always stands out. Nero. It's a Riva. I mean, a dark boat isn't the most practical, but it is cool. And to the next one. And we're still here by Nero, which Yanni also liked. But we decided to stay in the shade. <laughs> yeah, let's stay here. It is incredibly warm. Should we try and push through the yes. sun? The sun that we wanted all summer long now feels real warm. I actually have to film this because it's maybe not what you expect in Monaco, but racing sailboats. I think they're cool. You would love one of these, right? Yeah. Racing, Probably. racing. You and Warner could go up. Yeah, me and Warner, we would love this thing. And catamarans. Yeah, that's nice. I'm like a sucker for catamarans. <coughs> not as luxurious as some of the Monaco ones. And then up here, we have some serious badassness. Can I get the black one? Yeah, here, here's a photo from the side, maybe showing it a little better. Like this. This I would pick over. Yeah, look, Leon, you, you gotta look here now. Yeah, it might be weird, but like this. Mabla. Very cool. Just feel how cute it is when he says bubbler. My dear Leon. My dear. And bubbler. Stop growing. Since when can you drink <laughs> from a bottle with one hand and say bubble? He's showing off. It's hot. I'm melting. And bubbler. Maybe later. So what about this, Yanni? You don't think it looks very practical for the cool from the side. Never. It's not like I would be like, <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> the quantum of solace. No, that's cool, but wow. Sierra Leone, the stool boat. Very, very, very stool. Oh, here, up here, we have some seriously progressive engineering as well. Yeah. See that thing sticking out? It's the shuttle boat to uh, the Vintimedia port. Ah. But look at this thing here. The yeah. catamaran. Yeah, that's wow, Leon. Very, very cool. This one's cool. The old school sailboat? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Like cars. Yeah. Here's another G. G's and Rolls. I saw a white one yesterday. It was cool. <laughs> I love that you're now a G lady. I just said, I'm not impressed by those things. No, you just like it. Yeah, after driving it, that's why I like it. But this one is nice. The boat or the car? The boat. Mondo. Yeah, dark boats are cool. Yeah, but it's super hot, no? Yeah. Yes, look here. My favorite boat of the whole Monaco port. <laughs> 
Well, maybe not really, but you know, I'm a redneck at heart. I, I like fast things. Look, a cigarette, Brum Brum Leon. You've heard those all summer long gone by. And then we have the Arcadia. And what does Yanni think of the Arcadia? The front is too short. <laughs> it is super strange. It's like one of the most different looking boats. But I love it. Yeah. I think it's super cool. But behind the Arcadia, we have something else that's super, super cool. Big boats, straight bows, super cool. Does that get a wow? Probably the coolest one so far. Coolest one so far. We're gonna go have a closer look. I agree. That's a winner so far. And we just passed the, those two docks of Riva boats, but yeah, in Monaco, you gotta pick and choose. Ground issue. Sleeping Leia. So Jan is gonna take the detour around. And me and Leon. You ready, Leon? Super. Okay, Mangusta 105 makes the cut. Whoa! Ah! Uh, multitasking. And of course, there's a decent collection of, of cars outside. F12. TDF. Yeah. Boom, boom. And look at this. That is cool, Leon. The Ulukun. Maybe see if we can find a couple photos of it. Here we have a fed ship, ecstasy. <laughs> Big boat, huh? Yeah. Bonjour. How do you like this boat? Like it, yeah. It's hard not to like it. Yeah, it's hard, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Very, very cool. We're doing a little yacht spotting here in Monaco. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Lots of nice things. Big, big, big. An old big, 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 big. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. The Atlantis too. Here's where the big boys are hanging out. Yeah. I'm quite impressed that both kids have uh, kept their cool. Maybe they're not sweating as much as we are. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost to the reason that I felt that a little tour needed to be made because there's something special in the end. The quantum blue. Holy macaroni. Like five floors. <laughs> and next the quantum blue, another giant symphony. That's like a Finland's boat, as we would say in Swedish. Just enormous. Alright, you ready Leon? <laughs> wow! What a set, Leon! What a big boat! Symphony is ginormous. Do you think Captain Lee's in there? Maybe. Maybe Captain Lee. Whoever's seen Below Deck would know what I'm talking about. So I keep running into these overheat problems with the Sony I have because I think I have some old batteries which isn't fully compatible. So it overheats. So we're, we're on iPhone and here we're closing up on the most special boat. And Yanni's like, wait, what? Is that what you want to film? What do you think? Do you understand the specialty of this or the uniqueness? Do you see anything different about it? It's a catamaran, but... Do you see how shallow it is by the water? It's essentially a catamaran, but it sits on like torpedoes underneath the water. So it's only like, you know, a meter. Well, not a meter, but... So it's t tiny by the water line. I don't know why I'm born with the gene of thinking weird and different is this cool. Maybe not as big as some of the boats here, but unique. I am not sure if it comes. Yeah, there you see on, uh, on video. See those torpedoes? Big, big torpedoes. One on each side. Jogging back. Kept the fam together for like an hour and a half. That's gonna be it for this little Monaco tour. And that's the beauty of these short vlogs that you can do a little and sort of, I think normally on a normal vlog, I wouldn't have sort of maybe done this, but it's cool to see what's here on a normal day. And then we have the Can Yacht Show and the Monaco Yacht Show coming up. More things coming. Da. Yes, exactly. Da. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. So over and out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kevin I'll take that as a boats are more interesting than saying bye. Bye bye. So the tour I did was in the main port. I didn't even have time to check out the two other ports, but this is one of my all time favorites. Can you guess what it is? I'm gonna turn the camera this way. Dun 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 dun, you ready? The Wally poker face. Have you seen Leon? Easily, hands down. Yeah, exactly, wow.
easily my favorite yacht in Monaco at the moment. All right, now we can end it with good conscience. I'm sure I'm gonna find more, but epic, epic, epic.